PSA Reloaded, man. It's your boy, Three Letter Man. Subscribe to the channel, man. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Y'all know where to follow your boy at, man. Hit the like button also. I appreciate that. Y'all see the title of this one, man. Let's talk about it, man. We are talking URL Ultimate Rap League Rare Breed Entertainment RBE. I mean, this is it's like a non-ending story when it comes to league dominance, the backstabbing, the phone calls, the discrepancies, the who has talent here, who has talent there, talk, can leagues ever coexist? Battle leagues squabbling for a long time now. Now, see, here's my thing with this, man. I remember when um, Smack made an appearance at King of the Dot. I want to say he stood between, was it Charlie Clips versus Conceited? If memory serves me right, when Smack stood right there, I always thought that was dope. But I hate to be this guy and, 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 and pull this card, a race card. It was cool to see him go out there with Organic and King of the Dot and those guys. Shout out to those brothers, man. But he never ever went to an RBE event. Mm. I was at the beast they go to an RBE event back in the day. Um, I'm, I'm buggy. I see so much things in this culture, man. Let me stay focused for you, man. Where I want to go with this, man. Beat, beat, battle leagues not wanting to see the other one flourish and shine. Taking money out of each other's mouths, conversations. Let's not feed our families. And I got to be honest with you, I had a conversation with somebody on Twitter yesterday. And I, I don't want to take credit for what this brother said. He said to me, he said, three, you know, one thing I can't rock with, man, is understand it's business and you want to be on top. But when you're trying to take food out of another black man's mouth, I can't rock with that. And when the brother said that to me on Twitter, I'm not going to lie to you, man. That one touched the heart, you know. Whether you like me or not, you rock with me or not, that's cool. I appreciate y'all. Even if you don't, that's, that's cool too. I never go out of my way to diss other bloggers or what they do or what should they should say or what they should cover or what they shouldn't say. You do you, I do me. It, it's how it works, number one, right? I've Throughout the years, I've watched bloggers tell, well, tell the public and their, their core base and question why you listening to this person, you know, um, you don't even know these people. They don't be outside and um, what else? They be doing this and they be doing that. And like, you're telling people not to rock with this person. Like, I, I can't ever sit in front of a camera and tell people, yo, you shouldn't listen to that person. I could, I could not fear what a person says, but I'm not gonna tell a battle rap community who they should listen to and who they should not listen to. That is crazy, for real. It's like, Let's all execute each other <laughs> and be the only one standing. That's how some how this battle rap thing works, in my opinion, man. And, and, and respectfully, let me say this, man, where you are around the RBE, because they are top dogs. My favorite battle in 2023, right? I mean, 2022, pardon me, was not from URL. It wasn't from RBE. It wasn't from GTX. It was from the riot. It was from the riot. My favorite battle last year was A-Ward and, 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 and Rum and Nitty. That was my favorite battle last year. That was not on the big leagues at all last year. Now, I know people say compromise, media, whatever that means. And some, some of y'all run with that. I really don't know what the hell that means in my opinion and stuff like that. Um, I never tapped into that compromised media talk. I've, I've had people say I was compromised. Whatever that means, I don't know how could I be compromised. I just went to my first battle rap event the other day. I have no dog in the race. I'm not in, in the cahoots with nobody. No one's ever called my phone and tell me, don't cover this, don't cover it. I can promise y'all that right now. They might have done that with other people. That doesn't happen my way. That's never crossed my way. Now, I've heard stories throughout the years of league bickering and this person, this league saying this, this league doing that. 
I've heard numerous stories, certain stories that is not my place to leak out. You know, if somebody gives me information, that's not my place to leak out information. Sometimes y'all might think, you know, I know a lot of stuff that goes on. I just particularly don't say much because, you know, if somebody's telling me something under secrecy, it's not my my place to go out there and put out there for the public, not for no clicks, clout, likes, because then you lose you lose your relationships with people and my relationships are more important than leaking out private conversations that somebody told me in privacy. Some of y'all might think different and I respect that. I'm old and stubborn, so how I think, you could diss me and all that, it's not gonna change any way I feel, or how I look at stuff. You understand what I'm saying? URL, I would say this, we all know that y'all are top dogs in terms of battle rap. Smack is the is the godfather of battle rap. There's no if ends about that. I have mad love for Beasley also, but y'all cannot be the only league that makes all the dope matches. Y'all can't be the only league that, that flourishes in battle rap. It just can't be that way. I equate it to wrestling and everyone's made this um, analogy. I'm not the only one, so I'm not giving y'all breaking news. Fam, if you're a wrestling head, when Vince McMahon bought out WCW, to me, wrestling started getting whack. There was no competition. We need the leagues to compete. I want all y'all compete. I want Chrome 23 to compete, to um, flourish. I want you all to keep flourishing. I want RB to keep flourishing. I'm glad King of the Dot is back outside with the Pax A card. Shout out to the Riot, GTX. Who's the league in Miami? I want all the, the bullpen. Gates of the Garden. I don't want to leave nobody queen of the ring. I don't want to leave anybody that part of the but I was just, I'm not here to play divide and conquer. And I know y'all all are playing neutral. Listen, I'm going to get into some things I, I, I agree with and some things I don't agree with. So I'm, I'm going to get there for a minute. I have no dog in the race. ARP's my guy. Beasley's my guy. When my channel went down, Beasley was the one trying to help me get my channel back. Let me say that again. When my channel went down, before I went down, Beasley was the one trying to help me get my channel back. Let me say it again. When I didn't want to blog for a while, Beasley was the one hitting my jack, telling me, yo, um, keep blogging. It was Beasley. Let me be clear on that. It was Beasley. All right? ARP back in 2013, um, I, before I even showed my face and stuff like that, ARP pulled me up. It was me, him, Jay Black, and Angry Fan did the episode together. ARP had to do that for me. He knew who those, those guys was. You understand what I'm saying? So to me, ARP's been good to me. URL's, certain people in URL has been good to me. Even when Norbs is over there. That's why y'all never see me kill Norbs too much. Because I, I can't sit in line and act like Norbs has never looked out for me ever in my journey of battle rap. I, can't, I, I can never say that. Has he done some a-hole things that I didn't rock with? Yes, he has. To get Smack to come up on, on my on my platform on, on Instagram live with me and, and 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 say some things I didn't even expect him to say about me. He's, I mean, he's watching. I, I appreciate that, Smack. You are a, a godfather of this. ARP's my guy. ARP showed me nothing but hospitality when I came in the building. Nothing but love. Shot to two, win two. It's all it's all love. So when y'all say, "Oh, some of the bloggers stay neutral," I ain't here to tear down businesses, bro. I'm sorry. I'm not going to defecate on URL. I'm not going to defecate on RB. I'm not going to do that. That's not going to happen. But I am going to point out some things where I think there's injustice and some things that I believe that's not fair. I'm going to point on both sides. URL, you can't tell people not to cop pay-per-views. I'm sorry, you just can't do that. Yes, this is freedom of speech. But is that borderline hating? Yes, that's hating. Yes, that is hating. And if I interview any of those guys on URL, I would, I would say to them, well, is that true that, yo, y'all telling the public not to cop pay-per-view some leagues and stuff like that? I don't like the app versus um, pay-per-view conversations. I support the app. I support pay-per-views. URL cannot tell me to be like a man. Don't support RB pay-per-views. Don't support King of the Dot pay-per-views. Don't support Chrome 23 pay-per-views. They can't do that. <clears throat> RB can't tell me don't support the app. I still support the app. 
since the, since the app came out, I've always supported it. I paid my dollars for WatchBattleLive.com. And respect for the URL, when RBA made that point about um, if y'all out here dissing the pay-per-view, y'all come from that. Y'all set the trends on that. I'm a watch battle life dog, baby, baby. I miss watch battle life dog. You want to keep it funky? I wish I'd bring it back with all these battles. We can't watch Kid Slade and Shug you all up. Come on. Respectfully. I'm not going to turn down. Hit. I'm not going to kill black businesses. I'm sorry, but I'm going to point out some things in black businesses. Since ARP got a lot of questions in your blog, sir, I'm going to give it from an old man perspective. I have no problem with P. I have no problem with Smack. I have no problem with Beasley. I don't know Chico. I don't have no problem with ARP at all. My first battle rap event was at an RBE event last week. And I had mad fun. Mad fun. I enjoyed myself thoroughly. Thoroughly. It was mad love and throughout the whole building with nothing but but all the all the bad rap legends is out. I'm in a building with Calico, Hitman Holler, Easy to Block Captain, Marv One, Chris McCody, Remy Ma, name it, they outside. John John Shug. And and then mind games and let me say something real quick. I've never subscribed to the 40 powers of law and all that. I never subscribed to none of that. None of that. You know? And, and, and let's let's kill all this league versus league battle. Let's have RB versus URL. That's never going to happen, y'all. That's never going to happen. Let's bury that conversation and take that out of the battle rap thinking. We, that's not going to happen. ARP just spoke about it on, on Hip Hop is Real. That's not going to happen. And as of right now, early in February, early in right now, to me, the Violent Carp was the best card so far, in my opinion. Yes, it's early, of course. But I like the fact that I like I don't mind seeing leagues support at least to a degree. Let me say let me respectfully, I don't mind the edge. I do not mind leagues sticking in number one. I don't even have a big issue. You know what it is? I'm going to be real with you. I understand the contracts, but I don't like the contract thing. But I understand it. Because you all have said numerous times, they feel they build your brand up and you go to different leagues and everything like that. And some of y'all battle rappers do play Divide and Conquer with the leagues also. We won't talk about battle rappers playing Divide and Conquer between leagues. We won't see that. That's, that, that is very much true. Y'all be doing a lot of this. Saying all oh, this person, y'all be y'all do the same. A lot of bad rappers play a big part, probably more more than the fans. If you want to keep it on high, it's more the battle rappers that play the fight and conquer with leagues than battle rap fans, and more than the media. For real. So when I'm seeing Remy Ma in the building supporting um, ARP and ARP in the blog supporting Remy Ma, I'm here for that. I rocks with that. ARP did two blogs in this week, and they are, one thing we know about ARP, that man is very, very, very surgical. Very surgical. ARP spoke about taking food out the next man's plates and not knocking the next man how he eats. I, I have to agree with them. I'm, I'm sorry. I just told y'all I feel about other bloggers doing that, trying to issue other bloggers. Some bloggers through my journey trying to issue on me. And they're like, damn, you trying to make people not rock with me, bruh? By doing that, you want them to hate on you, want them to hate me and all that, you want them not to, to rock with me. So I understand that, that premise by ARP. I really do. I feel you could be number one without being cutthroat. And some people say, well, you can't be number one, you can't be you can't be deemed number one without being cutthroat. Some people say the other side of it, the other flip side to it. Me personally, I don't, I don't believe in and stepping on people's faces and stuff. And ishing on people and, and, and doing doing bad by people. At all. I don't front on people. You know, I mean, prime example. I know I don't hide the fact that I was me angry fan came into the game again. I don't front on that. But I don't like when people try to make it sound like you people people try 
In this conversation, people that ain't made people, I'll be hearing that a lot. I laugh, I think I laugh at that because I'm older. I love hip hop. I'm older than I'm older than anybody with me between me and Henry Fan and Tim at the time. So I don't I look, how I'm looking at it, how they probably look at it, it's totally different. I'm a hip hop dude. Caps is a goat. We never gonna get that twisted. But to say you can't, nobody can ever say me. I what I bring to the table is is, is crazy. I'm the one who brought Joe Budden over there. I'm the one, I'm the one who brought Royce the Five Nine over there. I'm the one who brought Uncle Murder over there. So I had connects with people. I didn't come to the party empty handed. I was already talking to Stephen A. Smith on a regular on, on, on radios on my sports. If anybody knows, I was calling them, starring them on a regular basis. Doggy Diamonds. I you and, and, and sidebar. I just want to throw this out. Let me talk my issue right quick. What in my Avery voice? When I was an angry fan, we already was doing PSA radio real quick, respectfully. We was already doing PSA radio. I was already interviewing Lord Jamar, Dej Lope, J Hood, Ebro came up there. Joe Buddy used to come up there on a regular with me and Timbo while I was an angry fan. Sure, that had nothing to do with that. To have my relationship I had with people prior. That had nothing to do with battle rap. Before before me and Timbo were left angry fan, we did PSA radio. It was already up and going while we was an angry fan show. I already had relationships with people. If any of y'all remember, I had J Hood. Uh, Lord Jamal, I had like I already have a relationship with people, so when people make those little comments, like, I I chuckle at that, but I, I do give respect also. You know what I'm saying? That's why you never ever hear me diss caps. You never hear me diss caps. But I just want to clear that up. I hear people say all the time. I'll be like, what do you mean? How do you mean somebody? That don't even make no sense. Yeah, you want to show together. We all we all pitched in. We all pitched. Everybody played a part. Our first show we did together was Murder Mook. Timbo got us Murder Mook. <laughs> it was the first show Timbo was paying. But regardless of how people feel about Tim, well, Tim was paying for the machine for a long time. So everybody played, everyone played a part. Everyone played a part. You know what I'm saying? Nobody came to the to the to the party on some like, yo, we don't, we can't hold it down, or hold it. You know, everybody brought something to the table, and that's the part where I get mad at sometimes when people act like every you can't have an operation and try to like play people out. Everyone plays a part in everything. You know what I mean? So. Just want to make sure I get that out there. You know, people always ask me that question and everything like that. So I just want to make sure I, I put that out there. You know what I mean? Um, ARP say he never knocked the URL app. <laughs> now he's saying F the app. Now the gloves are off and everything. And I feel he probably feels the gloves is off not and say F the app. When he said before he supported the app prior is because when you start saying, is he being petty? You can say that. But this is, I guess this is business one-on-one. You're trying to issue my company. I'm issue. So this is what we have right now with them. You know, you know that game they play sometimes. I see on social media with couples sometimes. They're like, well, let me ask you these questions. Like, who said I loved you first? Um, who's the better cook? If they ask, if they, if if Beasley was right here, and ARP was right here, and asked the question, who hates on who more? <laughs> who do y'all think they would point? Who you think who would point? Do you who would y'all point to first? Who would y'all point to first if y'all was in the room and they say who takes shots at who first? Would it be even? Would y'all point at Beasley in URL? Would y'all point at, at, at ARP? Huh? Respectfully, I don't think ARP wants to, to see, ever see URL fair. I don't believe that. You gotta remember, this man was going to URL events back in the day, right? So I don't, I, I don't think ARP wants to see this man fail at all. I don't think he wants to see, I don't think he wants to see URL fail because now, you might have some people who say on, on the other side, URL do want to see ARB AR, crumble. Respectfully, URL, you have a lot of people who say y'all want to see RB crumble. Respectfully. And the way ARP talks and the way he says things, I've never we've never heard y'all rebuttal any any claims he's made. And for the most part, R, RBE, ARP is known as a stand-up dude. You know what I mean? Has he has he been petty? Um, has he been petty throughout this journey of going back and forth? Yes, I have. Yes, ARP has taken shots at URL also, said petty stuff also. Yes, he has. We're not gonna act like that's not happened. I think he's been more vocal than URL, and in some ways he might have to. Because URL is top dog. And he's trying to he, he stayed afloat here. He's been since 2013, 14. RB's been been an inauguration of RBE. And he had a fight claw with other battle rappers that, that, that didn't flourish in URL. They go to RBE and um, bubble over there. Then they go back to URL and everything like that. Like, we've seen that. We've seen that. Right? 
RBE, RBE saluted Tay Rock also saying Tay Rock should have stocks over there. Now, as he played the Violet Conquer with Tay Rock and, and um, URL, you can say he is also by, by making those kind of claims and things. But I guarantee you, Tay Rock, if Tay Rock sees that, which I'm pretty sure I'll get back to him, he's chuckling and laughing and saying, yes. He might go on social media and be like, ah, like, yo, chill, I don't do that. But he's chuckling. He probably does feel that way. That's why when Tayrock got him in yesterday, he was like, oh, you know, I guess he didn't like the fact that I picked Snake Eyes to win the battle. And Tayrock said, people playing with his name. I'm, I'm like, Tayrock, how can I play with your name? You're a legend, dog. I'm like, why would I play with your name? Like, Tayrock, wrong person, bro. I think you're a legend. Me and Watson was the one made a blog saying, is Tayrock done more for battle rap than anybody, period. We did blogs like that back in 2018, brother. But I love Tay Rock, man. You know? ARP said he's speaking now because he's tired of getting effed over. He talk, you know the claims of fame, grabbing people over there, saying they can't battle over here. We all, everybody know, hey, these kind of conversations, man, right? Now, this is where it gets dicey because this morning he made another blog where URL stopped the capping, is the title on there, and he said that URL reached out to NBS and, and they told him not to cover RB events and they'll pay him or something to that effect. Dogs, let me be clear. I've never, no one's ever asked offer me money. RB has never offered me money. You, RB, ARP, I know you said that, you know, some bloggers have been offered some bread or to, to not, I've, I've never got a phone call. Not to, I gotta be honest. I would never do that to you. I wouldn't say they did that to me. I've never got a call from nobody over there indicating, yo, do you let a man, just cover our ish and that's it. Why you over there? Da, 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 da. No, I've never gotten that, never gotten that phone call. I can't, I've never, I mean, for you that a man myself, no. It makes you think though, because when ARP saying that, the first thing that came to my mind when you when when, he, when ARP made the claims that um, MBS was, see, here's the thing with ARP, ARP is not gonna make a comment like that if that's not official tissue, is he? When you make a claim out there and put that out there, you put your credibility on the line. And one thing we know about ARP, man, <laughs> he's credible, dog. He, I, I, he's credible, fam. I've never heard nobody say nothing negative bad about ARP in terms of that, bro. In terms of business and just um, discrediting him and everything. Even him and Jag was going through. Jag didn't have them, you know, they had they went through, but Jag didn't discredit and kill ARP as a man. Now, ARP, I know you don't think it's right if you are real. He said, he's, he's asking the bloggers, part of it, asking the bloggers how we feel about that and everything like that. Personally, if you are real, I don't think that's right. I don't think that's right at all. If y'all out here at, um, questioning people about um, pay-per-views and why they should pay, get pay-per-views, when y'all come from that, y'all come from that. That's, that. I'm not jacking that. That's not, I don't think that's cool at all. And if there's other shoe on other foot, RB doing that to y'all, it's not fair. I don't like even like I don't even like ARP saying F the hat. I don't even like those kind of bars. But I don't like also if y'all are here saying your um pay-per-view, that's not cool. Y'all that's not cool. Let that man eat how he's eating the way y'all eat. But I, I'm pretty sure I think on you all will probably feel the ARP throughout the RB throughout the years have taken it. I take a lot of these battle rappers that they that's been on their channel for years and they crossed over there. We need that though. I'm sorry, uh, URL. I'm sorry. We need RBA. I'm, I'm URL. I'm gonna be honest. We need RBA. RB, we need URL here. We need King of the Dot to get back and cracking. We just do. I'm sorry. Offering money is, is trying to offering other bloggers money, other um people that cover battle rap money just to not promote. A RBE event is nasty work. I'm sorry, it is. That's not that's not kosher. That's not righteous. That's not righteous. If that them claims of fame is true, that's not righteous. So no, I'm not picking sides. I'm not doing that. I wish you all real representatives would step to the plate and have these conversations with somebody, with with um Uncle Ra maybe. Hip hop is real. Me personally, I would love to talk to I would love to talk to somebody from you all myself. You know what I mean? So I don't know, man. Leave comments in the bottom, man. So much y'all think, man. It's your boy three letter man. Come on.